We cleared all stages of the subspace emissary on intense difficulty. Amazing! That was so not really worth it, but whatever. Anyway, welcome back to more Dad Until Smash Bros. X2. In the last episode, we defeated the entire game. So guess what we're doing now? We have to go back! Because there's actually a couple of things we can do now. Well, by a couple, I mean just stuff. So first off, what we're going to do is head over to the swamp. Now, it may seem a little awkward, but we're actually going to do something, but I'm going to cut over there because something new is available to you once you clear the main game. So I will see you in a sec. I have time to die. Why waste the time? Okay, once you made it over to this point right here, you're going to notice that there is a random door just sitting out here. What you need to do is go through this door and unlock. Yeah, that's right. Jigglypuff returns from Melee and Smash Bros. So she's one of the four characters that have been unlockable that are in all three games. So, all we have to do to get Jigglypuff unlocked is actually beat her in a match. So, let's go ahead and do such a thing as soon as it loads. How this works is that it actually only allows one stock per um, match. So, you only got one shot at And I beat her in 10 seconds. Amazing. And this is intense mode too, by the way. No idea. At all. At all. And why is it a black screen? I don't know. Okay, there we go. I got scared. <laughs> I got scared. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Delayed stuff much? Okay, so yeah, we have a new character that we can use. So, now we've got that new character. We actually have two more which we can get. So next up, we're going to go to... Um, I'm going to go to the ruins. If I could find it. Yeah, the ruins. Let's go! Let's go to the ruins! Yeah, because we need to go get more people to help us with the... Nothing, actually, because we finished everything. So why do we need to get more people? I don't know. I guess we'll find out along the way. Okay, so when you make it to this part, when you've uh, descended down that platform, that actually descends, excuse me, uh, you'll get this cutscene when you go through the door. And we get to take on Wolf, the former enemy of Star Fox 64. Yeah. He does look so good. Uh, he looks a little M.O. ever since we beat him in that game. Ah, uh, poor Star Wolf. Ah, uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and take him on with Wario. Even though I don't really play as Wario, I am sure I can beat him. I have enough experience points to actually fight him, even though this game doesn't really take experience points, but whatever! I'm just using it as a metaphor, how about that? That sounds good. That sounds like a logical reason, right? What the what? Ah! <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back through the door, and I am my main character, Lucario, this time. So hopefully things will go over better. And by better, I mean I won't die stupidly by stupid recovery moves that Wario has. Yes, I blame this solely on Wario, even though it, it's my fault that I died. Because he actually has better recovery moves and this is up B. But whatever. We're taking on Wolf again. He's giving us a middle finger. He doesn't like you. He doesn't like me, evidently. But whatever. Let's go ahead and take you on, Wolf. I can beat the crap out of you. It's my fight, and I fight if I want to, mostly because I really don't like you. Wow. 1% <laughs> damage! Okay, this isn't as great as snakes, but hey, you know, I mean, I'll take what I can get. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I don't know why these sections right after you fight these guys just take so long to load. And then watch, that sound effect's gonna come in right after. Doom! Watch. Listen. What what is that? It's like so delayed. What is that, man? Oh, okay. So this one's actually the easiest. This one is the forest. It's actually quite near the entrance, so I'm not sure if I even want to cut it because it's like really close to where you even start off. So yeah, I might as well just show this little part because I mean, really, I could talk about my thoughts on the project. I suppose. Because, uh, you know, that's how that's how the ending of the game works. I really didn't want to talk during the credits sequence, because that has to be one of my favorite uh, songs in the entire game. 
I literally, literally almost cried the first time I heard that. I know. I cried manly. I almost cried manly tears though, so don't 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 you don't you be judging. Don't you be judging. I love this game with a passion, sir. With the multiplayer mode anyway. I'm not sure about this mode. <laughs> but anyway. Um I enjoyed the project besides the fact that um everything their grandma killed me like instantly. But I I mostly blame my hastiness for that because I, I like to rush in and not think about everything I do. <laughs> But that's just how I play, honestly. I just like to rush in and do get stuff done, man. I like to get stuff done. But I like to do it the right way, though, so. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. How did I drop the hammer? You can't make me drop this. Wait, I thought... Wait. There's two... Okay, apparently he wasn't part of the onslaught. So, whatever. Anyway, uh, we have our final match right here, and this is... Dyslexia, because you couldn't read that name. His name is Toon Link. And he is pretty dang good, I, honestly. So, yeah, we're going to be taking him on. And uh, I'll ride on his boat from Wind Waker, evidently, because he likes to sail the high seas. And ironically, we picked Link for this. Huzzah. Does that make sense? Ooh, heck if I know, but hey. Okay, so Link, let's see if you could take on your mini par counterpart, even though he's technically better y than you at stats and whatnot. Sorry if I haven't been going over, like, uh, the characters in this part. I'm just kind of, I don't know, just wanting to do the fights and that's it. Because I know I'm going to be struggling quite a bit just going through and editing and stuff. Well, not struggling with the editing, but str struggling with um, trying to decipher what parts to keep in and what parts to keep out. Idiot. I, I don't know. I tried to. What, what were you doing, dude? Why were you sitting there? Uh, you're dead. Whee! <laughs> As the boat capsizes by a giant tornado that just picked it up, what the hell? I don't know. Anyways, I'm kind of happy with this project. I had fun with it. However, I don't think it was widely received as I'd hope it was because I was what I was trying to do with this project was kind of broaden the demographic as you're not supposed to, but um, it was mostly to appeal to like a wider range of people because it includes like characters from a whole bunch of different series. That was my whole basis behind it, but evidently people don't like this became game because there's not much you can really talk about during it. But that was also something else I wanted to do while I was uh, playing this game. I wanted to see if I could just talk about random stuff to keep you guys entertained, and I'm not really sure how that came out. But I know a couple of people enjoyed it, so, you know, that's just how it works. And, um, yeah. Now that we have defeated uh, Subspace, the Isle of the Ancients really didn't return. However, you are able to play these stages that were previously available. I don't know how that works, but logic dictates that bullcrap. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the project. We've unlocked all of the characters in uh, the game, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, I'll see you guys next LP. Later.